Put it behind you, brother. What's done is done. You can't change what happened, but you can control what you do now to lead you to a better future. Look, guys, for a long time, I've struggled with my past. Getting over it, I'm a little out of breath still because I worked out. But yeah, getting over the past is hard. It's really hard. And, you know, I struggle all the time to get things off my mind, things that I've done in my past or things that were done to me that were hurtful, that caused me a lot of pain. And I've worked through these things. I've talked them out loud to, you know, people going to therapy, whatever. But nevertheless, it still pops up. It still pops up because it's an experience and it's life and you can't erase what happened. As much as people try and shove all those bad things that happened to them away, right? To try and eliminate them from their mind, you can't. You can't, guys. It'll come back. <clears throat> It'll come back. So how do we overcome it to the best of our abilities? Because we know that we're never going to erase our past, right? Unless you get a brain injury, or unless you develop some kind of disease that causes you to forget your past, you are going to have stuff on your mind that you that happened to you or that you did. The thing that I've found is the best for this is just to go out there and make yourself proud. Go out there and do amazing things, right? Step outside of your comfort zone. Do things that you never thought you would have been capable of doing. And do that every single day and be relentless about it. And when things pop up on your mind, eliminate it with action, right? Because with action, with progressing forward, moving forward every single day, the thoughts have less power over us. But if you just lay down in bed, if you just lay down in bed right there and you sit in bed all day and you don't get out of bed and you open up your laptop and watch Netflix and eat ice cream while laying down, of course you're going to feel bad. You're going to feel worse. The thoughts are going to have more power because you haven't done stuff to alleviate your mind. And that starts with the body, right? Your body is your temple. And if you treat your body right, then your mind will respond. Your mind will say, okay, you know what? You are doing the right things. You're working out. You're moving forward. You're doing good, right? What happened happened. You can't change anything. And that's something I had to come to grips with, guys. It's been one of the hardest things for me to do in my life. It is the number one thing that has held me back. And it's the number one thing that I want to resolve in my life. Because you know, I've made a lot of progress, but there are seasons... There are seasons of life where things get hard. And when things get hard, those old memories start coming back. Start saying, hey, remember who you are? Remember that person you used to be? Maybe you're not capable. Maybe you're not capable of the success that you want in your life. And that voice will come back over and over and over again. And as you get better and better, it will start to creep back up. They'll say, hey. Remember who you are? Remember you were this loser? Remember those things you did, those terrible things? Remember what happened to you? And you just got to overcome it with pure force, brute force, every single day. You let, you let your mind win every day that you stay in that bed and you don't get up. Every day you succumb to weakness. You succumb to the thoughts the poisonous thoughts that are plaguing your mind from your past. Every day you do that, you lose. You lose that little battle. And over time, the more battles you lose, the more likely you are to lose the war. This is how I look at life. It's a very, I know, brutal way of looking at life. But life is war. Every day is a battle. Every day is a battle. And who wins the war, right? In major conflicts in any kind of war. It's the person that wins the most individual battles and the important battles that wins the broader war. <clears throat> so if you can win every day and you can show your mind, hey, I'm here, I'm not leaving, I'm coming back. 
and I'm punching back. And you can try to stop me. You can try to shut me down, but it won't work. It won't work because I'm too strong for that. I'm too strong for that. So yeah, I need you to understand that your past is done. You can't do anything. I don't know what happened to you. I don't know what you did that maybe you're ashamed of. You know, I've, I've certainly done things I'm not proud of. But I work every single day to become a better person. One of the things that <clears throat> I, I suggest doing, which helps me every single time, is helping people. Helping other people and serving people, nothing, nothing alleviates my pain more than that. All right? Seeing a homeless person on the ground and they're, they're asking people, hey, hey. And, and no one, no one's responding. No one's looking at them. No one's even acknowledging them, going to them and giving them, you know, water or a, or a drink, ask them, Hey, can I get you some food? Right. I don't like to give homeless people money because it goes to drugs. Most of the time, um, you know, there's a lot of people who are taking drugs who are homeless. And if I can tell someone's on drugs, I won't, I won't give them money, but just doing stuff like that, guys, going and volunteering and you know, helping people in any sort of way it can be online as well. I find a lot of happiness when I help you guys in our private community we have. If you want to join, it's the first link in the description, the Discipline Institute. But because I've been so vulnerable and shared my struggles and my pain, a lot of you guys in the community are starting to as well, which I deeply appreciate. I really appreciate that because that makes you stronger. That makes you stronger. It, you know, it might it might sh make you seem weak, but trust me, it's actually a sign of strength that you're willing to share the things that happen to you or that you're struggling with currently in your life, so that you can be part of a community and have people help you and and help you work through that, right? So that's super important. So if any of you guys are in the community, you're struggling with anything that happened in your past you know, join the community and let us know and we can be there to support you. I'm really grateful for all of you. You guys make me uh, motivated to keep doing this every day, to talk to you, to share with you my life story and the things that have happened, the lessons I've learned so that hopefully I can help you avoid some of the mistakes and, and you know, move past what's happened to you and become a high level human being who doesn't let anything knock them down. You deserve that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm super grateful for you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.